Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody sent me this file. And somebody's tried to remove the background, and they've removed some of the hands. There's a suspicious bounding box or line around it. So when I, in not too long a time, came up with this, I don't, I had to do a lot of work on the font and the picture itself is blurry. It's got multiple colors, but they're going to print this and I know nothing about printing. The uh, bananas look good. Thankfully, they sent me this file, but they also sent me this file and this file, which are a lot cleaner. And we're going to work on this file. This is kind of relative to the exact same thing I did just yesterday for this person. You can see the white bounding box. We are going to control or just hit the plus key on the keyboard and nudge out of the way. We're going to take this one and convert it to a bitmap. Doesn't matter, CMYK, I don't know what color. Let's go ahead and try to resample it. It's 300, so it's good. And then we're going to go to trace, outline trace clip art. We're not going to worry too much about the fonts. I might have to make a second video on this. It's going to take just a little bit. We're at 24%, 30%. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do exactly like I did yesterday and make a, a, an outline or a bounding box around this item. It is almost done and it's done. Now I'm going to nudge it out of the way twice. So this is our trace copy. If we look at it in wireframe, there's some suspicious wires, suspicious lines. So let's go to object group and ungroup. And let's just take the virtual segment delete key and delete those lines. Now they actually go into the item. So we might be able to just grab them now and hit delete. Grab that line again and hit delete. And I think we got all the wire. Now, if you look at the font, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad, but we're gonna work on that. Let's go back and view and go to enhance and you see what we got. We have some inner parts that we're gonna have to take away. We already have it ungrouped together. So I'm gonna take the, the white and the gray parts and just delete them. We're still going to have some darker grays, but we're going to deal with that in just a second. Let's get rid of all the white parts, light gray parts. It'll make it look a little bit better. I double clicked on it so it did what it's supposed to do and get the shape tool. This is really easy. It's just time consuming. Just try to get rid of the, the lighter grays. I was actually going to make the second video on this part, but we're already here, so let's go ahead and do it. Um, some letters, see there's like a line we probably don't need. I'm going to put it back for right now. We might be able to fill that in. Some letters are going to be connected, so you don't have to do so much work. I'm just basically trying to get the lighter gray and the darker gray, or the darker gray is going to stay, but just the lighter gray. It's almost a white. And we're going to, we're going to fix this in just a second and make it look pretty good. I would almost want to take the font out. If this person knows what this font is, It'd be a lot easier just to retype it out and put it in there like we did yesterday. We're almost done. I actually took away the dark gray, I guess. Just try to get the light grays out of the way. All right, we're going to call that good. Now in here, let's take out those white circles. I'm thinking they need to be transparent, so whatever the shirt is, if I'm wrong, you can just leave those. And at this time, we could also delete this line. 
But when we took out that hairline, we took out the color, or when we took out that suspicious line, I don't know what that is, I'm gonna delete it. So what we can do is take that, might be a little bit difficult, I don't like moving stuff out of the way, but let's see if we can't. I'm gonna take a rectangle tool. I kind of noticed when I took out that line on that B. Okay, this time it worked. I'm gonna whoop, nudge out of the way and get my, delete my rectangle tool and go down and get my color eyedropper. And I'm gonna get that color and I'm gonna fill it in in my B. I think we deleted it when we deleted that suspicious line. Now we can just nudge it right back so we're ready to go. Now we've gotten rid of all the background on that picture. Now it's still fuzzy and I personally would retype both texts, you know, that text and that text, but we can fix the text a little bit. Let's move our red box out of the way for a second. So we won't grab it. Let's take the word Fulton, unless we didn't really have to move it all the way. And then I'm gonna left click black and then put it back. So now all that gray is black. The letters are more complete. And that that might be the look they want, but they've still got you know problems uh, elsewhere in sharpness. While I go, I grabbed a line. You see, it's not complete. And it's the same thing almost as the font. That would almost be a good thing to recover or just redraw like I did the other. Let's, uh, so you could actually probably go around the whole picture. Whenever you, sometimes you might want to lock your red. Let's delete that light gray. That looks a lot better. But some of this isn't going to work. You're going to delete too much. So in printing, maybe a little bit of fuzzy is fine. We're gonna control G and group that together. I'm gonna to get my other one out of the way and I'm gonna hit P and put that in the center of the page. Now, luckily, same thing as yesterday, uh, this same banana, and we're gonna do the exact same thing. Let's just, I'm not even gonna convert it to a bitmap, I'm gonna just try outline trace clip art. Say okay and move it out of the way. But what it did do, it lost some, like yesterday, it lost some of the color. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this for the boundary tool. And if your boundary tool doesn't show up because you gotta go to object uh, group and ungroup it, and then as soon as you do that, your boundary tool shows up. Move your boundary out of the way. We're gonna do the exact same thing we did yesterday. I like filling in with black and then left clicking no outline. Now we're gonna go here. So we've got that on top. I'm gonna to use the intersect tool. And now we have a clear banana without any outline. Now it's quite a bit smaller or quite a bit bigger. So we've got the original. You could spend a lot of time in getting it perfect, but I'm gonna go about, well, this one's quite a bit bigger. Let's reduce it in size. That's pretty close. Now just get your banana about where you want him. You can hit the plus key on the keyboard and mirror him. And then start moving, hold down the control button and that way they're equal. And then just have them the same distance off there. And if you're ever trying to get it perfect in the center and perfect bananas, uh, you could, you know, uh, bring in an indexing line and hit P. Well, how is this not in the center of the page? Okay, now it is. So let's say we wanted them exactly in the center or exactly off the center. Let's set our nudge factor on like, let's see how big this is, seven inches. Let's set it for three inches. Let's nudge that over three inches and then up three inches. So it's not quite enough. Let's, um, how are we gonna figure that out? Let's put him in the middle. Now we know he's in the middle of the, of the item. Let's go four inches. Grab his hand and nudge over four inches. It's a little high. 
but we're going to do the same thing with this guy. Well, what I'd like to do is just take this guy and let's say we're going to hold down the control button and make him a little lower. Then control D and make a duplicate of it, mirror him. Hold it down using the control button to get it on that line and then move it over that three and a half inches that we set or four inches we set of our nut. And if it's not good enough, just change your nudge to 0.25, nudge him over, nudge him over. And that way your bananas are the same distance off. And we'll bring in um, one of the red boxes. You know, you've got some white in the printing, but that's, you know, you're going to have to. I don't know what color shirts they're putting it on. You know, there's a lot of things you could do. Uh, this would be a major undertaking to to redraw this. Maybe that'll work for printing. But anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.